In this video, we'll look at how to write the chemical formula of ionic compounds. Recall in chemical bonding, an ionic compound consists of a cation and an anion. Cations are formed when atoms lose electrons, while anions are formed when atoms gain electrons. Let's look at the first example, sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is an ionic compound. Hence, it is made up of the sodium ion and the chloride ion. Refer to the table given for the formula of each of these ions. In an ionic compound, the positive and negative charges balance each other, which means that the overall compound is neutral. We have sodium ion with a plus one charge, the chloride ion with a negative one charge. So we need one sodium and one chloride ion to balance each other. Therefore, the chemical formula of sodium chloride is NaCl. Let's look at another example, magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide consists of the magnesium ion and the oxide ion. The magnesium ion has a plus two charge, the oxide ion has a minus two charge. So we have one magnesium and one oxide ion. Together they form a neutral ionic compound. Let's look at calcium chloride. We have calcium two plus and the chloride ion. So the calcium ion has a plus two charge while the chloride ion has a minus one charge. Notice if calcium and chloride were to form in a one-to-one -one ratio, the charges would not balance because calcium is plus two and chloride is minus one. In order for it to be neutral, we need two chloride ions for every calcium ion. This means the formula would be CaCl2. The subscript 2 tells us that there are two chloride ions present in the formula. Let us look at sodium oxide. Sodium oxide is an ionic compound that is made up of the sodium ion and the oxide ion. The sodium ion has a plus one charge, while the oxide ion has a minus two charge. Again, we will need two sodium ion so that we can balance the minus two charge provided by the oxide ion. The chemical formula of sodium oxide would be Na2O. Let us look at aluminium oxide. Aluminium forms the Al3 plus ion, while oxygen forms the O2 minus ion. In order for the charges to balance, we have to find the lowest common factor between 3 and 2. This means we have to put in 2 aluminium ions and 3 oxide ions in order for the charges to balance. Therefore, the chemical formula of aluminium oxide is Al2O3. In copper 2 hydroxide, there is the copper 2 plus ion and the hydroxide ion. Notice that in some chemical names, you see the Roman numerals 1, 2, or 3, and so on and so forth. This number tells us the charge of the metal ion. So the number 2 here tells us that the charge on copper is 2 plus. The hydroxide ion has a negative 1 charge, and likewise, we will need 2 of them to balance out the plus 2 charge of copper. This is the formula of copper 2 hydroxide. Notice that the hydroxide ion is made up of two different atoms. We need to put a bracket when there is more than one of such polyatomic ion. Here is the formula for aluminium sulfate. Aluminium forms the Al3 plus ion. 
Well, sulfate is SO4 2 minus. So again, we find the lowest common factor and try to balance out the charges by adding the appropriate number of ions. We find that the chemical formula of aluminum sulfate is Al2 SO4 3. Again, when there is a polyatomic ion and there is more than one of it, we use brackets. So that this tree applies to the whole of the sulfate ion. One more example, ammonium sulfate. The ammonium ion is NH4 plus and the sulfate ion is SO4 2 minus. We will need two ammonium ions to balance the negative 2 charge of sulfate. Once again, when we have more than one polyatomic ion, we need to put in the brackets. We don't have to put a bracket for sulfate because there is only one of it. So just to recap, these examples are wrong and on the right side, this is what should be written. So when there is only one atom in the ion, okay, or what we call a monatomic ion, we don't have to put the bracket. So this is a very common mistake. Okay, when we have a hydroxide ion which is polyatomic and there is more than one of it, we need to put in the brackets. Otherwise, in this formula, what you are telling others is that there is only one oxygen and two hydrogen, which is wrong. Okay, finally, the number of the ions are denoted as a subscript rather than a coefficient in the front. So when there is two ammonium ions, we put a two at a subscript after the ion itself. That's all for this video. Hope you have a better idea on how to write chemical formula of ionic compounds.